just for the record, you know what I'm saying? Quote unquote nut houses or quote unquote insane asylums. It's basically like a jailhouse for time travelers and, and, and interdimensional beings. You know, not for whatever it's worth, we could say that, you know, it's possible that we created this, you know, situation or, or more so, you know, some of us agreed. Because again, it's through our, through our, you know, uh, in essence, thoughts or beliefs is what creates a certain aspect of this realm. Again, you know, if a bunch of us agree that we're going to call water Oshun, or we're going to call water, you know, uh, oh yeah, or you know what I'm saying? Like, if a bunch of us have that agreement, then that becomes something that's true, you know, and we create these, you know, uh, whether you want to call it egregors, deities, you know, quote unquote gods through, you know, agreements, you know, like through consciously or subconscious agreements. But for whatever it's worth, just to put that out on the record, you know, so it could be out there because I feel like by sharing it, it's going to help for people like I'm setting the tone or planting the seed for us to dive deeper into this shit. Because, you know, sometimes it do seem like, you know, like. Like, damn, like somebody need to talk about this shit, because I see how, again, like people could be, you know, framed as crazy when they're really not. Like, the fact that, you know, and again, like, well, Carl Jung or Terrence McKenna or certain people of a certain ilk could talk about these things and not be considered crazy, but, you know, if other people do it, they're crazy, you know? Now, again, I feel like, you know, this is just a collective agreement in general for all of us where, you know, whatever you're dealing with, you know, just making sure you're not, you know, like... I mean, your body is your body. I don't feel like, you know, I should police somebody else's body, but definitely just making sure whatever you're dealing with, as long as you're not harming others, you know what I'm saying, in the environment, you know what I'm saying? But again, I can't stop nobody from harming themselves. But just to put it, you know, just to say, it, you know, like, as long as you're not hurting yourself or others, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you should be allowed to express whatever it is that you're expressing. Again, like, as long as you're not like, like, say, for instance, how I've expressed that, you know, and with certain channels, like when you're channeling certain beings and energies, you know, certain beings, you know, lack uh, sympathy or empathy for humanity, you know. So in certain moments when, you know, I may have like made a joke about like you know like the transitioning process or you know like or bringing up like how babies are not really babies but you know that's a soul that just transitioning you know and it seems like i lack like empathy or sympathy for the human experience when i'm expressing that you know at the same time as i'm expressing that you know i'm not going around like harming babies you know what i'm saying like or or like when I come across, you know, babies are like my little, you know, I think about like my, my little cousins and little family, you know, little babies. And I love them up, you know what I'm saying? Like I love them, you know, love holding them and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Aware that, you know, not to get lost in the sauce with uh being overly attached in this realm. But still, you know, I still interact, you know. So, you know, it's like, oh, you crazy because you said that. Like, well, no, look at my actions. Am I harming myself or others, you know, just because I have that awareness or just because I channeled that message? You know what I'm saying? Like, no. So, again, you know, because also I feel like psychology is, you know, some aspects of psychology, you know, again, is like a a defense mechanism against time travelers or multidimensional beings or beings who access this insight or information. You know, it's a situation. It's almost like, you know, like certain aspects of psychological rhetoric, rhetoric you know, to use a, a fancy word for it, is, is used to, you know, again, like almost like a witch hunt 
for multi-dimensional beings or beings who time travel. So when you go to bringing up time travel or multi-dimensional aspects, oh, you're crazy or things like this. Wow, people in Hollywood could create movies and storylines like this all day, every day, but they're not getting sent to the same asylum. But then somebody, you know, in Skid Row or, you know, other areas of the world, you know, being treated as if something is wrong with them or they're completely crazy, you know. Now, again, some... Some people do, you know, uh, have an energy of expressing it or, or you could say expressing it or dealing with it in a manner where it seems like they're, you know, again, but who, who, who says that they lost it? You know what I'm saying? Just because, and I get it. It's a, a collective agreement. We say it collectively, you know, it's healthy to have all your chakras aligned. So if we see a person that seems like their chakras aren't aligned and they talking about time travel or you know these things you know and when i say the chakras not aligned i brought this up like with the venice beach vibe and like you know like the root chakra energy kind of not being tapped into like people are houseless but tapped in like their crown chakra is is but you know they're not necessarily taking care of the physical to the highest degree you know but again it's like understanding that this realm is not all what it, you know like all what it seems and again like the nut house is a it's like a, a defense mechanism for time travels or any or any being in essence that could peer deeply behind you know beyond the veil you know what i'm saying because hence why you know i think about like with lucifer the show where, you know, like anybody who's seen his face will go to like, oh, uh, like, you know, because that and not saying that it, that particular being, you know, uh, but, you know, it may have some truth to it. But it's like, oh, the people go crazy or whatever. And now I have to go into a nut house like I saw Lucifer face. I saw Lucifer, you know, but they really did. You know what I'm saying? In that essence, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's you know, system set in place, you could say by the matrix or by certain beings, gods, or egregors that don't want this insight or information to be exposed, you know, and again, again, hence why, you know, playing the game in that sense of, you know, being, reading a lot of books and being able to intellectually back up, you know, what you're expressing. You know, or just by simply setting an example again, like, you know, Carl Jung and, and uh, you know, Terrence McKenna, you know, somewhat Alan Watts. But, you know, certain people get praised for bringing up, you know, certain insight that may be, you know, or again, like Edgar Casey, you know, Edgar Casey channel something that say put a but I'm kind of being jokingly, but. In essence, it would be unorthodox remedies, but like put a bologna sandwich on your face and scrub it for six minutes and that'll heal your eczema, you know. Like, you know, that was praised and not seen as crazy, but then somebody else bring up things that may seem like it's, you know, the same, but, you know, uh, treated as quote unquote crazy, you know. And first and foremost, this starts with our own inner being, our own subconscious to not, you know, allow for yourself to embrace any word magic that would tell you that you're crazy for being tapped in, basically, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, uh, again, like I having my psychedelic experiences and sharing, you know, you can check out my psychedelic playlist, you know, but it's like, you know, certain things that I'm expressing on my psychedelic playlist, same things that I'm expressing on that playlist, other people, you know, will probably be locked up in a sane asylum for it. Now, and again, the key is not fear mongering, you know, being aware to not fear monger yourself into like, oh, you know, they, they might throw me like, no, nobody could do that to you unless you believe subconsciously that you're crazy or something's wrong with you or that you should be, you know, uh, in a quote unquote nut house for these things. Because again, as I pay attention to certain 
literature about quote unquote psychosis and things of this nature. You know, it just seems as if as if, you know, it's kind of like a little intergalactic policing type of energy that, you know, when you kind of peer beyond the veil of it, you know, it's like a uh like a policing system again for like po- uh for intergalactic, you know, a multi dimensional just say multi dimensional for lack of a better word, but that's more precise, you know, different dimensions tapping into the different levels of existence or the different realms of existence, you know. And again, this was also, and that's another reason why, you know, it shouldn't be seen as crazy because this is something our ancestors was tapped into, you know. And again, just seeing how in one case it's, oh, you're crazy. And then in another case, you know, you're intellectual and that's something for us to really consider, you know what I'm saying? Again, National Geographic could paint these pictures as if, you know, aliens, ancient aliens and stuff like that, you know, again, market the shit, (laughs) but then when somebody else express it, you know, it, you know, because it's not back with collective. And that's what I realized too. Again, it's like collective agreements, you know, again, it's like a quiet is kept politicking through collective agreements within this realm, you know, and if you're not a part of expressing the same things that a certain collective is expressing, you know, it may be seen as a quote unquote threat, you know, and again, like, but everything is subliminal in the sense of like, so instead of like straight up saying like, hey, you know, you're a multi-dimensional being, you talking too much. It's like, oh, you know, you're crazy. You know, like, again, like it's uh, shown you know, as if you're, again, like, as if something is wrong with you. But bringing this up after, again, seeing it countless amount of times, you know, like, actually seeing, you know, people I know of that had to deal with this energy, you know what I'm saying? Like, in their life, like, upon their spiritual growth, you know, whether it's with or without psychedelics, you know, and then just seeing it in movies as, you know, as a symbol, I think about 12 Monkeys, You know, with Brad Pitt and Bruce Willis character, you know, uh, you know, in the Matrix recently where, you know, you had to get a therapist, you know, because of his dreams or, you know, seeming like it was crazy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Spoiler alert. (laughs) But, you know, again, it's like the storyline is persistent you know, with their movies and seeing it in actuality, you know what I'm saying? That, again, it's like a policing system for those that can view things beyond the veil. And if if there's not a collective agreement to be able to share that insight that you're sharing, you know, because I feel like that's also why some some teachers are, are, are people who share a lot of this insight, you know, and they're sharing the type of insight that ain't been agreed upon collectively, in essence, you know, or, or with a certain majority of the collective spirits or entities or egregors, you know, that, you know, when we talk about like certain teachers are people like ha- having to deal with, you know, spiritual attacks, so to speak, you know. In essence, that's what's, you know, going on. But that's all that just needs to be, you know, understood and shared in this transmission. Peace. Happy now. Now's the vibe. (laughs) Not too far in the future. Not too far in the past. Right now. Peace.